Swami. Lord, you have had times pleasure when you have children with joy. Lift your name with joy, sing to you, with joy, praise you. Swami no once a priest and then a Swami no once a gathered the priest and Ola get Darwa, who once again Ami, Priti Vati, once again Ami, Prasan Sakar, and a Swami.
glorify your name.
come before your throne. And we offer ourselves. If you have your Bible, open it to the book of Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1 in the New Testament. Let's read Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 first. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Too many pade, please follow me by the Apage Pia, Apage Swami, Jesus Christus, Swan Sege, Devian Aset, Prasan Saweva, Magnisada, Unwase, Dripita, Preme, Shooter, and Okara Laka City in a Pinisa. Okay, so just keep, keep your finger here, and we'll come back to this in a minute. Apo Opage, I let in Tabaranda, a Motor King of Indian on our day, Balanda. If I were to ask you what makes a person healthy, what's the first things that come to your mind? Maybe it's a good diet, good food, exercise, maybe it's good sleep. But when we think about what makes a person healthy, oftentimes we don't think about mental health. 
समारे टा भीतना मानुष से कोई आकार दे शक्ति एक ने सारी रेटे समारे टा भीतना मानसी कले से किया ला but our mental health is very important because it can affect all of our physical health. Ekeni sa manasi ke manasa api hari eta taba ganne mita vedagat wenne na e de sieluma sarire e sarire eta balapan denna e deva. Now there have been some studies done that say that one out of every 5 people struggle with some type of mental health problem. So if that's true, I can assume that you or someone you know struggles with a mental health issue. Maybe it's worry, anxiety, Sadness, depression. एक खाना का आटू एंड दुखी वेदना वेंग इवेसी मार्क नेतू वेदना वेंग सिटी ने पुलवां. Maybe loneliness or hopelessness. तो आगे मत तानिए में बाला पुरुष तो आग नेतू तानिए वेला सिटी ने पुलवां. Now, being a Christian doesn't mean that you never will experience these things. अब कितनों एक वेला आए जब भी ताने पाम में देवाल लोलिंग उप गैले विला में सिटी ने वाकी ला में देवाल नहीं किला बट but it is so important. We must understand and know what God says about mental health. So this morning, I want to talk about this topic of our mental health and the gospel. Now this is such a big topic that it's impossible to cover everything, so we will start with just one important place. Now let me tell you a story. Uh, the other day, I was talking with many people by texting them. And I was texting some people that I work with, and I was also at the same time texting my wife. And I was talking with my friends and my colleagues about many very important things. And I was texting with my wife about sweet things. I was telling my wife that I look forward to going on a date with her. And I was telling her how beautiful she is. And I sent my wife, I, I, I typed one text and I said, you look really beautiful today. And I added an emoji, a little emoji with a kiss. And I clicked send. And I realized I didn't send it to my wife, I sent it to my friend. <laughs> and I immediately thought, oh no! And then my friend wrote me back and said, I never knew you felt that way. <laughs> so, it was a situation of mistaken identity. <laughs> Depending on who you're talking to, if you mistake the identity, it can be a very serious problem. But the thing I want you to take away from this is that true identity, who we are, really matters. And mistaken identity can lead to many problems, especially when it comes to our mental health. So what effects, what shapes 
the question, who are you? In our lives, as we grow up, many things cause us to establish our identity. Experiences, our culture, the media, other people. All of these things can define or try to define who we are. Now you know that my name is Doug. It comes from the word Douglas. I think it's a Scottish name by origin. Scotland. From the country of Scotland. I like my name. But like Pastor George told you, I've lived in many countries in Thailand, China, Bulgaria, here, and many people have difficulty pronouncing the name Doug. Um, in China, people called me duck, like a duck, quack, quack, duck. <laughs> and in Cyprus, I'm, I, many people have a, they often say dug instead of dug. I don't care. Because I don't really, I really, I do not care. You can call me Derek or anything you want. It doesn't matter because I know my name is Doug. Now it's the same way with our mental health and our identity. In this life and in this world, we all get many different labels. People think about us and call us different things. What are some of these labels? Some of these labels are things like, I am worthless, I am a failure. I am unlovable, I am unworthy. I am trapped, I am alone, I am forgotten. And sometimes we feel pressure to take these labels and we make them who we are. But how do you know who you really are? Now if Everyone's familiar with, is everyone familiar with McDonald's, right? Mc, McDonald's, the restaurant. McDonald's. Okay, McDonald's, okay, okay. Yeah, you know, they sell a sandwich called the Big Mac. If you want to know what is inside a Big Mac, where would you go? You would go to McDonald's and ask. Maybe you'd ask, is this really meat? Now it's the same way for us. If we want to know who we are, we have to go to who made us. And that's God. God has made each one of you and created each one of you. And He gave us His Word that 
reveals his plan and describes and reveals who we really are. And when we learn what Jesus thinks about us and who he says we are, it changes everything. And I think one of the most valuable and richest passages in the Bible about our identity is Ephesians 1. So let's uh, read verse 3 again, maybe 3 and 4 again. Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Christ. If you are in Christ, you are not alone. If you are in Christ, you are not your own person. If you are in Christ, then you were bought at a price. If you are in Christ, Jesus is your security. He is your personal deliverer. Let's look at what else it says who we are in Christ. Okay, so we're going to read verses 4 through 14. It's a long passage. But just listen and think about who am I in this passage. Okay, I'll read 4-14 For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. In him, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and understanding, he made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ to be put into effect when the times reached their fulfillment, to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth. Verse 11. In him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will, in order that we, who were the first to put our hope in Christ, might be for the praise of his glory. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation, when you believed you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christus 
ඒ පෙරමවන්ත යන වාසය තුල උන්වහන්සේගේ කරුණාවේ සම්පතේ ප්‍රකාරයට උන්වහන්සේගේ ලේ කරුණු කොටගෙන අපේ මිදීම වන අපේ වරදට වරද වලට කමාවද අපට ඇත්තේ ඒ කරුණාව සියලු ප්‍රඥාව හා නුව නැතිකම අප කෙරෙහි බොහෝ වෙන්න සැලස්සුව සේක එසේ කෙරෙහි කාලවල සම්පූර්ණ කමේ නියමය ලෙස ස්වර්ගයේද පොළවේද දේවල් සහ සියල්ල ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ තුල එක් ප්‍රාශ්‍ය කරගන්න තමන් වහන්සේ තුල අදහස් කර තමන්ගේ ප්‍රසන්න කමේ හැටියට තමන්ගේ කැමැත්තේ රහස අපට දන්වා දීමෙන් ය එසේ තමන්ගේ කැමැත්තේ මන්ත්‍රණය හැටියට සියල්ල සිද්ධ කරන අවතන වහන්සේගේ නියමය ප්‍රකාරයට අප පෙර නියම කරනු ලැබ ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ තුල උරුමයක් වී සිටිමුව එසේ උනේ ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ තුල පළමුවේ බලාපොරොත්තු වුණා අප උන්වහන්සේගේ මහිමේ ප්‍රසන්නතාව සඳහා සිටින පිණිසය උන්වහන්සේ තුල නුඹලා තුඹලාගේ ගැලවීමේ සුභාරංචිය වන සැබෑකමේ වචනේ අසා උන්වහන්සේ කෙරෙහි අදහගෙන උන්වහන්සේගේ මහිමේ ප්‍රසන්නතාව සඳහා දෙවියන් වහන්සේට හිමි වූ වස්තුවේ මිදීම වන පිණිසය අපේ උරුමයේ වූ අත්‍යවාරම වූ පොරොන්දුවේ ශුද්ධ ආත්මයන් වහන්සේගේ නුඹලා උන්වහන්සේ තුල මුද්‍රාන කර ලැබුවෝය ආමෙන් So let's answer the question Who are you අපි මේ ප්‍රශ්නයට පිළිතුරු කියමු ඔබ කවුද Who am I? Mama Kaude. If you are in Christ, but Jesus Christ is on the throne, sit in our name. According to this passage, me watching the prayer, me praying the prayer. You have been blessed with every spiritual blessing. But Jesus Christ is on the throne, sit in our name. Sir, swear by God, the Most High, 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 the Most High. You have been chosen. Oba wa the Most High, the Most High, the Most High, the Most High. God chose you. You have been adopted into the family of God. Oba wa devya nasa ge Paul ata unase ragena ti benawa. If you are adopted, you are his child. Oba unase gatta na unase ge Paul ata oba unase ge putre ko daru ek pasi ti nawa. You have been redeemed. Oba wa mudagena ti benawa. You have been covered with his grace unasege karuna wen oba wata karati benawa you are unconditionally loved oba avilla ita puduma premeya oba labala ti benawa ita premeya ki think about that for a minute you are loved but you are loved without any conditions by god eka nisa balanda oba hitala balla obata premeya aadare labila ti benawa deviya nasege e simawak nathi premeya deviya nasu obata dilla ti benawa In Jesus Christ you are accepted. Jesus wahanse tula oba thora gena tibenawa oba kandawala tibenawa. In Christ God says that you are pure and blameless. Ekenisa Christus wahanse tula sitna vita oba pavitrawa shuddhawa sitinawa kiyenawa. Because in Christ you are forgiven. Mark nisa da Jesus Christus wahanse tula obata obe waradi walata samawa tibenawa. You have received you are in the possession of eternal life obata dila tibena wara prasade sada kala jeevane urume kristu swahase tula obata di tibenawa you have the hope of spending eternity with god ginisa munu jeevite ma deviya nasi samaga sada kala jeevatenda karunawa di tibenawa so when we are in christ these are aspects of our identity that can never be changed ekenisa oba jesus christus wahanse tula sitinawa nan me dila tibena wara prasade me dila tibena naame obata kawada kat wenas wenne yanne na e tattwe tama obe jeevithe obata tibenne however there often times is a gap between what we know in our minds the bible says and how we actually live our lives and feel about ourselves. ඒකනිසා අපි ජීවිතේ ගත කරද්දී අපිට තිබෙනවා පරිතරයක් තිබෙනවා අපි මනසේ සිටින හැටි අපි මොන ස්ථානයේද සිටින්නේ කොය ආකාරයෙන්ද කියලා අපිට තිබෙනවා පරිතරයක්. Now what causes this gap I believe are some obstacles. ඒකනිසා මේ ජීවිතේ මේ තිබෙන පරිතරය අපිට යන්න තිබෙනවා මේක ඇවිල්ලා ප්‍රශ්න තිබෙන්න යනවා බාධාවක් තිබෙන්න යනවා මේ මැද. And one of the main obstacles that we face are called lies ekenisa apata dakinna puluwam me kale tuladi me tibena parthaya nan eka avilla boruwa tibenna nan me madde we start to accept things that are not true false beliefs about ourselves and lies about ourselves ekenisa api manaseng api api therum gannena api adha gannena veradi igenni boru igenni api asala e dewal viswasa karanna yanawa For example in verse 4 it says that we are to be pure and blameless in Christ. 
අපේ හත වෙනි පරිත්‍යය අපි දකින්න පුළුවන් යේසුස් ක්‍රිස්ත සාසි තුල ශුද්ධව නොකලල්ලක් සිටින්න දෙවියන් වහන්සේ අපව කැඳවලා තිබෙනවා කියලා. Now the opposite of pure and blameless is impure, dirty, guilty. ඒ වගේම මේකේ අනිත් පැත්ත තමයි මේ වචන දෙකේ ඒ වගේම අපවිත්‍රව ඒ වගේම වැරදි කාර්යයන් වල සිටිනවා. Often times our life's experiences cause us to feel this way. So then even though we are forgiven and are Christians we think that God sees us this way. ඒක නිසා අපි අපි දෙවියන් වහන්සේ තුල සිටියත් මේ තත්ත්වය අපි ලබාගෙන සිටියත් ඒ කාලය තුලදී අපි හිතනවා දෙවියන් වහන්සේ අප දෙස බලන්නේ නැහැ ඒ ආකාරයෙන් ඒ වචනේ ප්‍රකාරයට කියලා අපි වැරදි ලෙස අපි අවබෝධ කරගන්නවා. And then we start to live out our lives with this identity as a guilty unloved person by God when that's not who he says we are. ेक्टेड අපි ගොඩක් වෙලාවට හිතනවා අපි අපි හිතනවා අපි අපිව ප්‍රතික්ෂේප කරලා තිබෙනවා අපිව දෙවියන් වහන්සේ කැඳවලා තිබුණත් අපි ඒ ආකාරයෙන් හිතනවා Sometimes we act like we're in chains even though Christ has set us free ඒක නිසා අපි ගොඩක් වෙලාවට හිත ගෙදරක වගේ සිටින්න යනවා පංගුවක් වෙලාවට ජේසුස් වහන්සේ අපව නිදහස් කර තිබ්බා Sometimes we act like we live underneath the law even though we are covered by god's grace ini sa api godak vela ata godak neeti walata yatat vela sitin denawa debiya nasage karunaven wata vela sitin denatu sometimes we think we're alone like orphans even though the bible says we are adopted into his family api debiya nasage kadawala sitiya debiya nasage paulata api godak vela ata anathe wage thani vela api sitin denawa so what do we do when we believe these lies वाचनेटी Now I understand this is not always easy because sometimes the lies that we believe about ourselves are based on real difficult hard experiences. Kini sa may delays na ako dapat na boru deval may wag deval na nabita apat amaru yapi ang jiwa tina kahle ano may de tulad apat si tina amaru istan na ma. It's important to take time and grieve. and mourn over these experiences and invite god into the place of brokenness he will heal ignisa me wage amarwe vedanawen sitiddi api walapila devyana sidiriye kanna lau karana vita api suwa illena vita e dewal wenin nidahas wenna devyana sa apata karunawa dila apata suwa e dila apawa nidahas karanna denawa e amaru sthana wala di but if there is something that you feel or believe about yourself that you know is not what god says then it's time to take it to god and surrender it to him and ask him to replace it with what he says with his word. Ewa ge amaru tang wala di amaru tang wali yaddi obagema manase sitagena oba e sthane sitiyedi oba devya nasage ing illanda devya nasata aaradhana karanne amaru sthana wala di oba upakara karanne. Now we may not always feel forgiven. We may not always feel blameless. But that's the way God sees us and this is where faith comes in. ඒක නිසා අපිට දැනෙන්නේ නැහැ අපි ගොඩක් වෙලාවට අපි තනියම අපි ප්‍රශ්නෙන් අපි වැඩි කාර්යයන් හැටියට සිටිනවා කියලා ඒ දැනදි තමයි දෙවියන් වහන්සේ අපව අපව බලන්නේ ටෙස්ට් කරලා පරීක්ෂා කර බලන්නේ අපි ඒ ස්ථානයේ දෙවියන් වහන්සේ දෙස බලාගෙන සිටි යුතුයි Our last verse we'll look up is 2 Corinthians 10:3 through 5 2 Corinthians 10 Three through five. But Our brother, Sh- Sh- Pastor George is nodding his head because he knows this verse very well. Second um, Corinthians ten, verse three. Second Corinthians ten, verse three. For we walk, for though we walk in the flesh, we are not waging war against, according to the flesh. 
For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have the divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God, and we take every thought and make it captive to obey Christ. Deca corente dava ni pade tungi ni pade dava ni pade teje tungi ni pade sita pahada kwa balu mapi makni sa dapi manse hesire na namut manse hetire yudha nokare muwa makni sa dapi ayu da manse ka nove hete wa balu kotu bindheli mete devya nasi diri pita balasam pan nava balasam pan ne apay vivaade devya nasi gana dana gana mete virudha usas man na usyalu usas deval da bindhela syalu situvili. God has given you everything you need to destroy strongholds and false beliefs. And he's the one who gives us the power to do it. Why is it important to see yourself the way that God sees you? If you live out your identity on how God sees you, then you no longer have the need to find your value in something else. And then we're able to experience God's unconditional love in new and fresh ways. And, maybe even most important, then it allows us to boldly share His love with others. Look, this is a daily battle. This is a daily battle to challenge what the world says about me with what God says about me. But it's a battle that is worth fighting because it also changes the world. Because once we are established and confident with who we are in Christ, then it changes the ways that we look at others as well. We see others in the same way that Jesus sees them. We see brothers and sisters in the same way. Oh, that's my forgiven, loved Redeemed brother, that's my forgiven, loved, redeemed sister. And we see those who do not know Christ through the eyes of a loving Father who desires them. So, if you hear anything that I say today, I want you to hear this. Your circumstances, your mental health struggles do not define who you are. God defines who you are. I made a list of some other things that God says about you from other verses, and I'm just going to read them uh, quickly. If you are in Christ, you are a son or a daughter 
of a loving Heavenly Father. If you are in Christ, you are made completely new and not defined by your old self. If you are in Christ, you are not alone. Christ is always with you. If you are in Christ, you are never separated from God because you have direct access to Him through Jesus. If you are in Christ, you are a valued member of God's community. If you are in Christ, Jesus calls you his friend. Your life is made complete in Christ. So, in a minute we're going to pray. But, just for, I, we, we took communion a few moments ago. I saw that most everyone did, but some people did not. So I want to say, if you are not in Christ this morning, if you are not in Christ, today you can be in Christ. You are valuable to God. He created you. He loves you. But we have a problem with sin. And God is a holy God. God is holy. And because of our sin, there is nothing we can do to make things right with God. Our best efforts will never take away our sins. You can't come to church enough, you can't give enough money, you can't help enough people to be to be forgiven. And God knew this, and that is why He sent Jesus to die on the cross and to take your sin punishment on the cross. And Jesus did. He came, He died, and He was buried. But death could not hold him, and he rose again to life three days later. And he lives forever, and he promises that those who have faith in what he did, in his death and in his resurrection, will also be saved. So if you are not in Christ this morning, if you've never surrendered your life to Him, don't leave here today without talking to Pastor George about your desire to follow Jesus. And for the rest of us, I challenge you and encourage you to take time this week to study about who you are in Jesus. Remember, you are loved by God.
Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for your word. And God, I thank you for each person who is here. I thank you for how valuable each one of them is in Jesus. And Lord, help us to see, a, see ourselves the way that you see us. And help us to love others with the same love that you have for us. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.